Hey guys, how's it going? Our house 21 here, and this is a quick one. A little unboxing. So, you see here in the background, you've got Dizzy. You know, this is my soldier, my veteran, my war horse, my fastest car so far. That's not discounting Surly back there, who, you know, is, has yet to prove himself. But one of my goals is to have in car video. So, for this season, I picked up this lovely little device here. Actually, I didn't pick it up. My wife gave it to me for a Christmas present. So, uh, I probably should have done this beforehand. Unzipping. Okay. But right here, I have a Contour GPS camera. And this guy is awesome. A uh, really good high def camera, but it's got a built in GPS that logs data at two times per second. So this will actually give me high resolution GPS data that I can go back and recreate my runs and do analysis and all the other good data stuff that me being me, I like to do. Problem is how do I mount this thing in the car? Because one of the things about this, about this company is they decided that they, you know, they use a different standard than GoPro. So I can't use a GoPro mount. Anyway, I couldn't use a GoPro mount anyway because the GoPro mounts are too tall. So how do I fit one of these guys inside of Dizzy and Surly for my speed runs? That's where this comes in. So thanks to my friends at Amazon, I'm able to get contour profile mounts. And there should be... This is interesting. This isn't what I bought. Okay. All right, this is special. I bought, I thought I bought two of these guys, two sets of these. But instead, what, what did they give me? They gave me contour. This is supposed to be profile mounts. Okay, they look different. Okay, this, oh, wait a second. Yeah, there are two more inside of here. But you've also got this funky bracket. Okay, so let me go ahead and open this guy up and see what else they gave me. So it looks like I got more than I more than I bargained for. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Four, so, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got these little guys. Okay, so this is kind of funky because you can see here that these in this pack it comes with a left profile on the right profile and what this is for is if you are mounting these on a helmet for example you could put this on the left side or right side of the helmet and it actually matches the profile of the camera which is kind of a cute thing and you see right here it's like the mount is a baby version of the camera that's that's cute not necessarily necessary but here it looks like I've gotten again another left and right are these both the same? Nope. So I have two sets of left and right. But then they also threw in this extra random little metal bracket here. So let me look at this guy. So this looks like it gives me a mounting pad for one of these guys. But then I've got this little arm. So I guess if I wanted to attach this to something. So I, I guess I need to figure out what exactly this is. Like, Gave me more than what I intended for. But anyway, so the idea with these guys is I just take one that's already out of the package. I take it and I secure it to the center brace that's already on Surly and on Dizzy, like that. So I'm probably going to have to bolt this bad boy down to there. But then I'm going to be able to mount this securely so I can get video out of the windshield of the car. So, and again, you can see that's part of the reason why I left the windscreens clear for Dizzy and for Shirley. So I can get these in car camera systems mounted and, you know, be able to really see some good stuff. All right, guys. So, just another idea for you. Um, our house 21 signing out remember like comment subscribe stay stay tuned to the channel so you see more interesting in-car footage coming through uh, with any luck i'll be out there doing testing runs here very shortly 
and um and we'll start to see how all this stuff fits together all right guys remember to like comment and subscribe remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it and do it all over again our house 21 signing out peace